Mr. Grant is a veteran who gave eight years of his life in the military and took an oath to defend the Constitution. I think this case is a reflection of a man who was unseen, who became angry, who fought back, who was a warrior for social justice, but let it go to his head. Resigned. You know, yeah, he may get, sit there and say, fuck the police or advocate for the random killing of judges, but people are talking about it. People weren't talking about it before. At first I was like, what is wrong with this man? <laughs> There's something wrong with him, but the more I listened to him, the more he made sense. If he can't be free, then neither can you. Uh, you know, you might have, have something upset one day that you'd like to say and that you shouldn't be arrested for what you have to say either. He is expressing himself in the only way possible by saying fuck cops, by being flamboyant, by, you know, using his, you know, all of his techniques that he's learned. Mr. Grant believed that Judge Crespin and I both deserved to be shot in the head. You're hoping their brains get splattered on their children. And if anybody listening is not offended by that, there's something wrong with you. Mr. Brandt, on, on each of these three counts, you're sentenced to four years in the Department of Corrections. When you heard that Eric Brandt was going to receive 12 years, how did you feel? Extremely upset. So this is miscarriage of justice because if somebody would say to me, it would, it would have been dismissed. 12 years for standing against corruption and judges who were doing the wrong in their courtrooms, who were biased. It's, I feel hopeless for America. Why is this old white guy talking blue lives murder? Because there's no such thing as fucking justice in this country. If, if they think that they have silenced me, they would be grossly mistaken. Um, and I might say too that the consequences of silencing speech are unspeakable.